World Championships are coming to Kansas City in 2009, so that's very exciting. Jack Lowe is the president of the local disc golf club, the Kansas City Flying Disc Club. Welcome to Thanks. the show. Thanks for having us. Uh, this, is, to this is a really exciting sport because um, it takes the element of golf. And for me, the best part about golf is like throwing the clubs in moments of frustration. <laughs> and, and at disc golf, you're always throwing, basically. I mean, you're always exerting that frustration in the form of throwing the frisbee. Oh, definitely. And, and that's you can't get mad at the club. You know, you didn't pick the wrong club because right. you're using your arm. The, the so. angrier you get, hopefully, the farther you throw it, which right. may be beneficial to your game. Depending on if it goes right or left, and you can get just as frustrated. Right, you know, right, so golf I'm is just as frustrating in our world, too. All right, so let's talk about disc golf. Um, we are here uh, putting now. Right. And you use the same kind of terms you would use for regular golf right. as you do in disc golf. That is the, the hole. That's your object or the uh, disc, disc golf hole, the pole hole, uh, the catcher, however you want to refer to it. And just in terms of disc golf technique, how would one go about uh, getting the disc inside of the hole? Inside of the basket, the best thing to do is to grab a Frisbee and you want to hold it, you know, just like you would normally. They're a little bit different and then just extend your body naturally. Now, of course, I'm no good, so I don't make my first one. <laughs> that one's a little short. And in terms of score... What are the rules regarding that? It is just like ball golf. It's the uh, the person that takes the least amount of throws to get it in there. Get in there. Oh, oh. That was close. It gets just as frustrating. Okay, so let's say you merely hit the ball. Not good. Not good. It's got to come. It's got to come to a complete rest within the basket. Uh, what they refer to as the entrapment device, regardless of what device you're using. If it gets on top of the basket. That does not count. If it I'd gets, like to hit one. If it gets stuck in the basket. Then you can get up there and get it out fast. That counts. So as There's long, one. boom, baby, yeah. that time. <laughs> I'm gonna catch flack for missing all those other ones. <laughs> um, in, in terms of the proper technique, throwing the the disc. There's a there's a wide variety of reasons and uh, methods that people use. People can do them. You can throw them like we're throwing them here backhand. Mm -hmm. There's people that'll throw them forehand like this. Heads up. Um, there's a wide variance of uh, of methods that you can use to throw the uh, the discs. You can also throw them overhand like this, but I didn't hit that one too good. That's called a turbo putt. All right, let's move from putting to driving because just like in regular golf, there are long drives. Sure. The record for the longest drive. It's about 876 feet in the air. That's unbelievable. And like we were talking about also, the roller is close to 3,200 feet, which is over three quarters of a mile. So roller, obviously, it goes in the air for a certain length of time. Or well, here, I'll throw, throw a quick roller here. Okay. And you can see how it goes. So it's going to basically curve over and then just roll right down the course? Yeah, except that was a crappy one. <laughs> that wasn't so good. All right, let's see a model example of a, a drive. Some rock star drive. Boom! Yeah. Man, that's amazing! That one turned over. Holes in one in disc golf. Are they as rare as they are in, in traditional golf? No, no. not, not near. There were five this weekend in Des Moines. I was fortunate enough to get one of them. And, and we've actually seen your rate of accuracy here today, so I'm guessing if you can get one, then just about <laughs> anyone anybody can. can. That's right. So, <laughs> I've been playing 20 years, and I've got seven of them. So. Check, check out this, Jack Lowe. Yeah! Oh, you got the tree. Beat it! <laughs> Is there any extra pointage for hitting the trees? No. Wow, that is awesome. No extra points for hitting the trees. Disc golf is a huge sport in Kansas City. There are a number of courses to speak of, and you can find out more information on the Kansas City Flying Disc website. Go to our website, NBCActionNews.com. Click on Kansas City Live, and where's Darren? To find out more info about that. Boom. Hit it twice in a row. I hit the tree <laughs> twice. Hit the tree twice? <laughs> I did it twice. Sweet. Yeah. Unlike no other, D-Dog, unlike no other. Some other, some people can't even do it with a golf ball. Yeah, uh, Brett just well almost hit me in the head five feet from no, the person he's throwing Actually, with. Sharon almost hit you. I you almost saved you. Mm -hmm, I saved mm -hmm. you, and I didn't almost miss it. I <laughs> caught it to save you. Uh, discs that you would use in the course. This is a driver. This is a putter. And coming up next, we're going to be doing more driving and putting. Stay with us. Aaron? There is a professional disc golfer among us. Her name is Tavish. She's been playing for five years, and when we return, we're going to beat her.
Here's the original Frisbee turns 50 this year. In fact, this is the classic re reissue of the 1957 Pluto Platter Frisbee, which was first introduced by the Whammo Company. But the classic disc game of disc golf is on a new course, and we find Darren Mark out on the disc golf course this morning. Good morning, Darren. Hello, we are with the Kansas City Flying Disc Club. It's Kansas City's Disc Golf Club. There are a number of tournaments coming into the region over the next couple of months and years, so check out their website, which you can find via our website for more information on that. Meanwhile, we have about 10 disc golfers here this morning, mostly amateurs, but one is a pro, a professional. That's an abbreviation for professional. You know what? I educate and I entertain. I do both. It's a service. This is Tavish, and you've been a pro since how long? I had two years. This is my second year. And you picked up a uh, Frisbee disc golf disc for the first time when? Five years ago, I picked up an actual disc golf disc. So to become a pro in only three years' time, that's pretty remarkable. Well, you pretty much have to not have a job. I have three kids. Uh huh. So, uh,. You have to be able to get out and practice every day. So that would, how you, that would be how you do that that quickly. And I play about five times a week. Wow, that's amazing. So let me see some examples of your disc golf excellence. Could I? Sure. Could, could I see? Okay, let's, let's see what I can do. Yeah, let's see a putt first of all. Let's go for it. So take a disc and let's get her in there. Um, how much is your rookie card worth? I mean, do you keep track of all that kind of stuff? You know what? My rookie card is not worth a lot. <laughs> oh, you're so not modest. A lot of money in this. You know what? I, I have a couple of them, and I would beg to differ. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what you got, Tavish. Do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh! All right, now watch me. You know what? What I just want to prove here is how easy it is to be a pro. Okay? I hit the pole. All right? You hit nothing. I just want to just highlight that this morning. See what I'm saying? One more try. Okay, all right, one more try. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, oh, you hit the pole. Oh. All right, I want to see one drive now. Okay. I want you to drive towards uh, that basket over there, and if you hit the live truck, actually, we'll pay you, okay? So the live truck is to the left of, of the basket, either one. But you're, I'm throwing to the basket. I would throw to the basket, but if you accidentally hit the live truck, uh, you're good to go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh! Ooh. Ah, well, close. You know, it's really, I, I think, really cool to see someone of your talent actually throw a long distance because, you know, for me to throw a long distance, my form's all crazy. The disc is never going anywhere where I want it to go. It takes repetition to get that form down. But you get out and practice for even a, a week or two. You can get to where you can turn a disc over and you can throw it at least two times as far as you were throwing it the first time you tried. This golf is a really fun sport. It, it looks fun. It is fun. It's really cool to be playing here with the guys. These guys in particular over here. Uh, this guy over here uh, dressed for the occasion of being on television this morning. <laughs> so I w want to thank you for that. That was, that was sweet of you. Hopefully your mom isn't watching. Uh, how, uh, how does a guy or, or a gal get involved in disc golf? Usually by a friend that introduces them to it. Uh, mm -hmm. For my, myself, it was back at college. I actually just found a frisbee in a bush and started playing on the course. <laughs> and, you know, the history of disc golf is basically way back when a couple of guys got together and they said, who can hit this tree in the shortest amount of throws? Right. And then from that point, it's just developed into this incredible game. Exactly. Do, you, do, do you find the same level of competition with disc golf as you would with a traditional sport like soccer or basketball or normal golf? Absolutely, especially in the professional division. I mean, there's a lot lot of talent out there and these guys are throwing five six hundred feet and you know when you get out there and try to do it guys really get about 50 100 feet out of their drives the first time you know to see these guys really get out there and display their skill it's amazing so yeah the competition is heavy it's great to see all you guys here practicing this morning like we said many competitions coming to kansas city in the following weeks and months and years for information check out the website for the kansas city flying disc club through our website nbcactionnews.com click on kansas city live and where's darren <laughs> darren very insightful thank you today yes we'll see you tomorrow